Hey guys, this is Peter, and this week I have something pretty great for you. You know, over the years I've reviewed countless, like over a hundred Android boxes, or boxes that were based on Android, or Android TV. Well, this is something a little bit different. It's Google TV, and it has a lot of things going for it. So, I've been playing with it for about a week and decided to re-edit my video before I published it because I found a lot more things that this thing can do. So please excuse any edit chops or segues in flow, but I wanted to fit more in here to show you because this box is way more powerful than I thought it was. Sit back and uh, relax and take a look at this. I think you're going to like it. Dynalink sent me this box. It is a streaming media player and it runs Google TV. Now, Google TV is based off Android, but it is indeed a different interface. It is a very well thought out interface, and because it's a marketplace, you know it's always going to stay up to date. Google TV is running in parallel with Android TV, but my number one video uh, uh, for years has been how to upgrade your Android box. You're not going to have to do that anymore. This is going to stay up to date. And Google is finally using their strengths for their own benefit. Guess what? Everyone searches the web over Google. So they know what the number one talked about movie and the number one talked about shows are. And guess what? They're now aggregating it and bringing them to you no matter where they come from. So whether it comes from Freevee or Hulu or Prime or Disney Plus, it doesn't matter. It's going to be displayed for you. You're going to have not only what's available, but what's available for free. And they have some really great features here. Oh, because it's Google, you know it supports Chromecast. You know it supports web search with your voice. You can also do command and control with your voice as well. It does support Dolby Audio. And yeah, I'm talking about a box that's less than 55 bucks. Uh, it has 4K UHD in case you were wondering. This is a great little device and I haven't even got to my favorite piece yet. One of them is the remote. I love this remote because it's a universal remote. A friend of mine recently said, hey, a roommate moved out and left me this big Panasonic TV, but there's no remote. What can I do? This will take over. Power, inputs, volume up, down, it'll set itself up. And Google really has a nice way of setting it up. You literally take a picture of the TV screen with the QR code. It'll interrogate your phone, knows all of your passwords, just brings everything together but I still haven't gotten to my favorite part. My new favorite part is, they call it live TV, and it's free ad-supported television, or fast channels, and over 130 of them. You can quickly go through and discover some channels that you like, and guess what? It'll bring that into the interface, and you'll know what's playing live right now. Really some great stuff on here. Let me just take you through it and show you the interface. All right, so here it's booting up and you can see Dynalink. I wanted to thank Dynalink for sponsoring this video and for sending me one of these boxes. This is, uh, it's been pretty cool, cool. This is Google TV. And as you're gonna see, there's a brand new interface. This isn't your standard Android interface. However, it is Android. So there's for you live apps and library across the top and it has top picks for you. So it, it is kind of, uh, well, n sees what you're doing but you can run any of the apps you wanted to run, whether it's Pluto or Tableau or all of them are available. This is the live tab. So live TV, there's 136 fast channels, free ad supported television channels. So you can actually find, look at this, there's news, there's crime, there's local news, there's all sorts of different shows, just hundreds of them. Well, 136 of them, I think it was. Uh, hot TV shows, classic TV shows, reality TV shows, games, comedy, stuff for the kids, um, all sorts of things. There's even uh, international channels as well. Spanish, international, miscellaneous, and even local TV from across the country. So San Francisco to Chicago, Atlanta, not a problem. So great channels in here, and I think you're going to find stuff. And as you favorite them, they're going to show up in the interface, and you'll see what's available. Apps. There's a ton of apps, and it's easy to discover some. In fact, they even offer some to you. Like, let's see, uh, let's see, let's pick one. Recommended for you. There we go. Let's do Paramount Plus. Click on it, and guess what? It will install it for you, and it goes rather quickly, actually. And guess what? With my Mint Mobile, 
they offered me uh, Paramount Plus for six months. So I do have a login for this. And guess what? I can turn it on the engine to aggregate from this one as well. You tell it what, what services you have and it'll make it work. There it is. Beautiful picture, by the way. I'm only recording in 1080p, but it is 4K UHD. These are uh, advertisements right here in the middle, trying to get you to sign up for different services, whether they're free, etc. That's what pays for this interface. That's what keeps it up to date. Of course, it still runs your favorite apps, including Spotify. That's great. These are the ones that I was watching. That's great. This is free television. This is also really interesting. This is what is the top selling movies. Who knows better than Google? Free with ads? I could find all sorts of videos that are free with ads, aggregated from multiple different sources. This is from Freevee. The next one's from Pluto. Really easy. Google owns YouTube. So of course it knows what I was watching on YouTube and can pick content and present it to me as well. Popular movies. No one knows what's being talked about on the web better than Google. So they just present this to you and let you know where you can get it, providing you information about what the cost is and how well it's rated. Um, summer movies, of course, it'll present that to you as well. Really great stuff. And of course, you can uh, customize this interface to be the way that you like. So this is because I like Saturday Night Live. This is free live TV. I have a watch list and of course made a made a playlist out of my watch list. And that's great. Trending on Google. Again, no one knows better than what people are searching for on Google than Google. So they've made an interface that goes ahead and data mines this for you. Free ad supported movies, comedies, it goes on and on. You're always gonna be able to find something cool with this. Documentaries, dramas, there's Hulu, there's Prime Video, that's Hulu again. Prime Video, Paramount Plus, Peacock. As you can see, it's an aggregated source. This is pretty cool. If you like crime stuff, Hulu's the channel you need, it's obvious. Disney Plus, Prime Video, Hulu, 2B, Hulu, Disney Plus. This is finally something great that uh, that Google has done. This interface will always stay up to date. Here, here's how you manage services. Let's go ahead and create a new tile, if you will. Here, we just tell it what services we have. If you had Apple TV, you would turn that on. It will make an Apple TV tab. It'll also say what you can watch for free, and it'll start pulling in stuff that's because you're paying for the service. If you're paying for the service already, guess what? It's free. Philo's a good service, has lots of great stuff. When I put Plex server on, it sees my Plex library. Really great stuff. YouTube is a great way to watch stuff as well. And of course, you can buy a lot of stuff from, uh, from YouTube. And when you do, it appear, appears up at the top next to uh, apps. It's called library. All the stuff that you purchase will end up there. All right, let me show you the voice feature. You could say, movies from the 1980s. And guess what? It will state of mind the web for you, going and searching for movies from the 1980s and bringing it for you and even making tiles out of it. It's great. Now, we can also search for actors or actresses. Let's say Liam Neeson movies. And guess what? It'll pull up and make a list of Liam Neeson films for you. There we go. Pretty darn great stuff. Uh, we could pick another one for you. Uh, Tom Cruise movies, for example. It'll pull up Tom Cruise movies and show you what you can watch for free, what's available on Hulu and Prime Video, and even there's a Netflix channel, because I do have Netflix, and of course Tom Cruise is in a lot of movies there. There's even a Spotify channel and YouTube. There we go. We can watch just about anything on this thing and it goes and finds it for you. The voice search is the key. All right, let me show you live TV. That's the second tab over one more time. This is one of my favorite things. There's 136 channels and they're broken out into some really great categories, popular and movies, uh, <laughs> wow, crime TV, classic TV, sports and comedy and home design and food and nature. There's a kids channel, there's a music channel, there's international channels, and even local news channels. So from Atlanta to Chicago to San Francisco, all the major hubs are all covered there. So here's the app section and your library section. Anything you purchase is gonna end up here. I love that because it's not just money to the wind, it's part of my library now. That's really great. 
All right, well, there's another way to watch your live TV, and that's through the live TV or the free TV app. And yeah, there's free TV channels, and this is a different way to browse them. It's more graphical. It's more like surfing, channel surfing. Allows you, any, if you stop on any one of these icons, it'll switch the background to that. It is neat, but uh, I know a lot of people like to channel surf. I prefer the other one much better. It's much easier for me to pick my channels. But if you do want to channel surf, you do have this option available to you. Hey, there's continue watching and free stuff. Uh, but look, there's even a family tab. So many times we want to watch stuff as a family and look at this. Doesn't matter where it comes from. It knows what the top stuff is and it will tell you what you can get, whether it's from Prime Video or from Google or from Peacock. It doesn't. Disney Plus, it doesn't matter. It sees what's available. Hey, you're going to quickly de decide which features you need and which ones you don't. If you don't see a service that you're not drawing from very often, you might say, I don't need to pay for that one anymore. And if you see a lot of stuff from one that you don't see supported, that might be something you want to sign up and get. Paramount Plus I got for free uh, with uh, Mint Mobile for six months. So I'm taking advantage of that. So far, so good. There's a lot of great stuff on there. Prime Video, of course, we've always had that for a long time. So uh, I really like this. Here's the movie section, just real quickly. Here, this is, of course, some ad stuff from Tubi and Disney+. Plus. Popular movies right now, where it's from, how I can uh, find them. It even gives me the Rotten Tomato rating, which I think is fantastic. And if I have to buy it, there's a place to buy it. And of course, it will end up in my library. That's pretty cool. Uh, movies from your watch list. There we go. I have a watch list and I never was using it before, but now I have something to use it. Trending on Google. They're the search engine. Of course they know. I've watched some surfing movies and it made a channel out of it thinking maybe you want to watch more. This is really great. You have a lot of control over this interface. It is, of course, being a advertisement, but hey, it's aggregating content based on what I like to watch. So I think that's pretty darn great. Really cool interface, really cool remote, and for the price, this one's tough to beat. Free with ads? Who doesn't want to know what's free with ads? Because sometimes you just want to find a movie, but you're like, hey, I'm all by myself. Great Escape was on my watch list, by the way. 94% It's now on Tubi. Yeah, I'll watch some ads. That's a great one. Magnificent 7, uh, Flintstones. I grew up with that stuff. Really great stuff. Free top picks for you. Got to watch that on Pluto. Fantastic. All right, well, setting this up, I learned that it also supports Google Home. And guess what? I just was sent some cameras from Real Link that are supposed to support Google Home as well. Check this out. I use my voice and say, show backyard camera. All right, camera. streaming the backyard, streaming backyard on, Garage, on TV. Garage TV. And look, now with a Wi-Fi camera that doesn't even have power because it's powered by solar, I can watch the backyard pool. So if I had some young kids over, I could do that. But I said, let's take this thing even further. I got a special dongle out that I had laying around, was able to add a flash drive to it. Can I watch movies over a flash drive? So Yeah, I absolutely can. So now that I have a USB port on this thing, let's play some games and see if this processor can keep up. And I got to say, I was pretty impressed because it does a really nice job. I pulled out some of my old favorites and went ahead and loaded them just to see, well, if it could do it. And it was in that that I found some pretty cool stuff. So you, you remember the old favorites. And yeah, now that I have a joystick in my hands, I can really push this thing to the limit. I was wondering how it would do thermal wise. So I kept playing. It's always when my wife walks in and goes, what are you doing? I thought you were working. I go, I am working. Someone's got to thermal test this thing for a couple hours. <laughs> and I, I did find some good stuff. I'm going to get to that in a second. All right, here's another one. And I love this game, too. I know all the tricks. Yeah, this is a, a fun game to play. But uh, I did want to show you some settings. So I noticed that if I played some games, it would turn off after a while. And I tried checking out thermals and all that. I noticed it was a setting. And it's a setting that I ran into a couple times. If you fall asleep with your box on, it actually, go to go down to system, go down to power, 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 power and energy. 
and I turned it off. I said, it's a low power device. It runs over USB. There's no need to turn it off after 20 minutes because that's where it was set. And it doesn't just put it to sleep. It turns it off. So my screen's protected. I'd rather have the thing wake up exactly. Um, but hey, that fixes it. Well, I do think this is an excellent interface and this box is one heck of a great deal. Hey, follow the link down below, pick one of these up and it helps out my channel, but I think you'll be really happy with it. Uh, this is one cool deal that if you do have a TV that's missing a remote, this could be your saving grace. Hey, be sure to like and subscribe and thanks so much for watching. Liking and subscribing actually helps out my channel and it costs you nothing. So uh, much appreciated. See you in the next one.